Hi, and good morning, everybody. Oh, I said good morning. I just, I try not to do that because, you know, I don't know what time it is there, but for me, it's morning and that's just, I don't know. It just, it comes out. I can't help it. Anyhow, I wanted to go over some brushes. I thought maybe tools would be something that would be good to cover. And, um, well, I have an arsenal of brushes that I absolutely love and a couple of new ones that I found. So I thought, you know, hey, why not? Let's cover that might help you out if you're looking for brushes because honestly little tiny brushes are so hard to find ones that will make you happy that that you you feel like you can control because painting little tiny things like dolls so hard so hard you know especially when you can't get a brush that's going to give you what you want so i'm going to pick up the one in the middle here whoopsies i tried to pick up the whole background um this i picked up at hobby lobby oh my gosh what's on my hand well, I put my hand in something, so I apologize. Um, I don't even know when I did that. That's weird. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, this is... Um, I got thrown off a little bit by looking at my finger there. I'm going to try to wipe it off. Anyway, it's an 18 zero, uh, And this is a Master's Touch spotter. This was a brush that is their brand. The, the Hobby Lobby brand. And I picked it up for 50% off, which I thought was, you know, fantastic. What a good deal. So $5.99 minus 50%. I wish I had picked up more because I didn't think I'd like it. But I came home and I, I find myself grabbing this brush quite a bit. I'm going to grab something. Another thing you should always keep around your place, your artwork place, um, is some handy little wipes. They're really good to keep your hands clean. So I don't know what I stuck my finger in. Anyway, sorry about that. So yes, this little spotter was, it's a little stubby guy is really great. You'll love it. I mean, I was really surprised by that. And for, what is it? Half off, you know, why not? It's not expensive. The other brush I picked up, which I thought I would like better than this one at Hobby Lobby was the 18 slash zero round Princeton velvet touch and I use rounds the most so I was surprised by the spotter I used to use spotters I don't know what made me leave probably because I'm always on the search for the best brush ever I don't know if I've ever found the brush bleh, the best brush ever getting tongue-tied this morning but this one I like it it's so fine it's almost like a liner and um, it works great for certain things so I am using it I don't like it as well as this one but I would recommend having it as well it was $5.99 and at Hobby Lobby I used the 40% off coupon for this one I'm all about saving especially since acrylic brushes little tiny ones like this they don't last very long acrylic is really rough on brushes so this is an old one you can kind of tell by looking at it. I wouldn't be able to paint with this anymore. I, I, I save all my brushes for other little tiny things like maybe a sealer or whatever. There's, they're still, I can still use them. I just can't use them for the super fine details anymore. But this one is a Windsor Newton 0000. Uh, it's around as well. And it was a classic brush that I used quite a bit. So if you can find it, good brush. Then I have, wait, let me get to the other Windsor Newton. This is the Windsor Newton 333. It has a super sharp point, kind of like a well at the, at the a base, and then a super fine point. This one's great for eyelashes, and I really can't use anything else. I kind of can use this one for the eyelashes as well, but this one actually works better for those little flicks of eyelashes and um, eyebrow hairs, little tiny details. I really like this brush. It's also Windsor & Newton, if I didn't say so, Series 7. And um, I got this one on Amazon. Uh, I don't remember where... Oh, poop. Sorry, guys. Did I say poop? Sorry. <laughs> um, this one, I don't remember where I got it because I've had it so long. It's not in my curtain rotation, but I do like this brush. This is my go-to brush. It's a 20 slash zero Scarif 405 series round. And I get this one online. This is um, a great brush. It's a great all around 
brush. So I, it's my go-to, but that little stubby guy has been sort of stealing the spotlight lately. I want to say this one's under $5. I will look them all up for you. This one's under 5 This one was four. <laughs> Sorry. This one was five ninety nine, dollars um, but I used a coupon. This one was five ninety nine, dollars but I used the 50% off. I would also use a coupon if I didn't have the sale. This one was, I want to say this one was around $7 on Amazon, and I don't know, but I will find out uh, the price of this one. But anyway, that's my little arsenal of brushes. And I find that this collection really, really helps me get what I want. So that's it for now. Just on brushes. I will be back with more tools soon. I'll see you next time. Bye. Don't forget to like um, my channel. That really helps me like this video. Um, subscribe and click the little bell so that you will always know when a new video is available. Thanks. Bye-bye.